Okay, so what I've got here today is a hydraulic pressure testing kit that I got off of Amazon. And now that I've got this new hydraulic pump in the 4440, it's a bigger pump. It's supposed to be rated for uh, 30 gallons per minute. The other one was rated for 24 gallons per minute. At around 2400 psi this one goes up to like 3000 so I don't want that so what I've done is I've got this here uh, and I got an adapter for it so this will just plug right into the remote and then I've got all these fittings that it comes with this just goes by uh, this one's a quarter inch so this will just thread right into that and then I've got three different sets of gauges here one goes to like 8600 pounds and the other one goes to 5800 and that one goes to 3500 so this guy here this is probably the one that i'll need this is in the range that i'm looking at so i'm looking to set this between oh i don't know it's rated for 2400s i might go up to maybe 26 something like that we'll see the old pump here on Let's see, now down here you see that's where the pressure adjustment is. So on the bottom, there's the adjustment. On the top, that's where I guess a D stroke could go into. And this one that I have, it has a D stroke on it. Now the pump that I have on here, you can see right well, I, oh shoot, that's going to get my hand in the way. Well, I'm kind of trying to point at it. But there's that big nut, and then there's a little bolt and thread to the top of it. That's the D stroke. And uh, underneath, your steering pivot, right there is where that hex screw is. And jam nut, that's where we will be adjusting our hydraulic pressure. Um, if we need to, we're going to check it. But So that's where we adjust it. And then up top is D-stroke. And what D-stroke does... Okay, now with D-stroking, essentially what you're doing is <clears throat> you're compressing that spring that's in here behind your pressure um, setting valve. So like on this pump here, this doesn't have a D-stroke screw on the adjacent side of it. So what you'd have to do is now obviously with the motor off, take a uh, three quarter inch wrench, crack that loose, and then take a, uh, see, what is that? A uh, 7 30 seconds uh, hex. And then you can take this all the way out. And what you're doing is you're letting that spring release the other way, um, back the other way, essentially. So now all you have to worry about is the fact that there is a little rubber O-ring there. And if you de-stroke this way, um, you have the potential of hurting that o-ring i guess so right there is the pin for your adjustment for your flow on your hydraulic pressure and so now what i need to do is get set up get my um pressure valve or gauge i mean my pressure gauge hooked up to the tractor and um i'm going to start it and check to see where hydraulic pressure is and then at an idle well like a high idle like a thousand rpms i'm going to um, make any assessments or adjustments from there so i'll get that started
Okay, so I got a, a massive uh, leak on my connector there, but I've got pretty much right at 2,500 PSI. So, I mean, that's slightly above, that's 100 pounds above factory. Um, I really don't see any reason to adjust it, but I, I'm gonna talk to my dad, which is the actual owner of this tractor, and see if he wants to pump it up any more than that or not. I gotta shut it down, because I'm, I'm making a mess. Okay, so 2,500 pounds is where we're gonna leave it. So now, if I was to adjust that any higher, um, all I'd probably do is just back that screw out there a couple of turns or a few turns or whatever and, and make sure I'm not ramming that pressure um, screw into it because that's essentially, I believe, what you'd be doing. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. Now, the thing to note is now, if you start monkeying around with that, now your hand is gonna be right there at that pivot point, because right underneath there is where <clears throat> you'll be making the uh, pressure adjustment. So just be diligent of that, you know, that these things are notorious for uh, the wheels just kind of turning on their own when you're messing around with hydraulic stuff something to keep in mind um so yeah i mean other than that um i don't think it's that really that big of a deal to either de-stroke the uh pump or make the adjustment itself uh, fortunately i don't have to deal with it i'm right where we want the thing so i guess uh, that's that's it But yeah, I guess uh, everything worked out pretty good with that uh, pump from Surpi, uh, Surply Plus. Yeah, Surply Plus uh, Center or whatever. Um, yeah, 2,500 pounds right in the money, so no adjustments need to be made. But, you know, like I said, if you did, it's really not that hard. It can be done. Um, I just thought this video was kind of... To me kind of important because i looked around like on youtube for example and could not find anything anywhere about what i'm doing here today so i thought i'd do it otherwise there's forums i mean there's all kinds of forums out there but sometimes those are kind of hard to find too especially the useful ones but anyway that's today's video thanks for watching please like and subscribe Hope it was useful and uh, come back again.